Hi guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another vlog today and I know I've been gone for a while and I really 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 regret not vlogging for our anniversary but I have some I have some exciting news to tell you guys today. I'm so excited. But yeah, so anyway, um, so for our anniversary, this is what happened. First of all, go check out our anniversary video on my wife's channel, Eliante Madelier. She did vlog because she's better than me. Um, so yeah, that morning we woke up, everything was good. We started heading to Miami. I actually made an intro at home and then we started heading to Miami, which is where we spent our anniversary. Um, because, um, by the way, my passport did not come. By the way, it's still saying the same thing on the website that is processing, like literally to this day. So I don't know what they have going on, but way more than three to five weeks and way more than five to seven weeks because it's been both. So anyway, um, so yeah, so we get to Miami and then I had to pee so freaking bad. So when we got there, I'm like literally looking for a bathroom. So I'm not even thinking about pulling my camera out. I'm like, I'm going to pee and then I'll record because the first thing we wanted to do was rent scooters. So, um... Then, long story short, the scooter place was not there. We had to look for another one. And then we got to that place. And then we ended up renting a slingshot. Um, anyway, so go watch go watch the video on my wife's channel, Eliante Madelier. Go watch the video on her channel because she did a really, really, really good job recording. And, yeah, it was an amazing time, amazing anniversary. We enjoyed it so freaking much. Um, it was... It was amazing. So I have come to you guys today with a vlog. So I'm going to vlog and to start this vlog, I'm going to open my box. <laughs> so this video is actually sponsored by Teddy Blake. Thank you, Teddy Blake. I got this box from them. Let's see what's in here. I cannot wait to open it. If you guys don't know, um, Teddy Blake sells handbags. They sell purses. Um, all types of shapes and sizes and colors. Um, so yeah, super excited. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just opened the box and it looks like that. So nice. Okay, let's take the box out of the box. Oh, wait, wait, it's opening. Don't open yet. Okay. So this is the box, super fancy looking. Teddy Blake, New York. So let me point the camera down so you guys can actually watch me open it because I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Okay guys, I had to turn the camera around because look at this box. All right, so I'm gonna open it. Teddy Blake, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather, each Teddy each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your everyday fashion choice. Can't wait to see what I got. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait until you see. Oh, okay. Let me turn the camera back around. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Look at that dust bag. Ooh, look at that bag. Literally, when I put on my outfit today, I was like, I need a, a, a black bag, like a big black bag, like a, a shoulder bag. I think that's what they call it. All right, so let's take out the paper. Oh, it comes with a little wallet. Look at the wallet. Oh my God, that's so freaking cute. Oh, I can put... Okay, that's great. Perfect. And it matches the bag. Look at the inside. Red. Cute. It smells like... the Just by smelling it, you can tell it's like legit. Like real leather. Smells like... Look at that bag. Oh my gosh. Let me lift you up. Oh my gosh, you guys. How freaking cute is this bag? Mm. Yeah. It's so perfect. I literally needed an everyday black bag. That's what I needed. Look, it has the Teddy Blake right here. Oh my God, this is a beautiful bag. It's so beautiful. Then you open it, look at the red. Can you see the red? Cute. 
And I love, absolutely love the wallet that comes in it too. You guys are definitely going to be seeing this bag on me a lot. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So make sure you go check out teddyblake.com. They have amazing, like I said, a lot of different styles, sizes, all different type of bags. Um, they are not crazy expensive, but they are great quality. Um, I do have a little 15% discount code for you guys. Of course, I couldn't leave y'all hanging. So that will be in the description below. I'll put the name of this bag in the description below as well. And yeah, make sure you guys go check out Teddy Blake, okay? Because y'all gotta be stylish like me. Be a fashionista like me. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Yeah, so go check out teddyblake.com. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this bag here for now because I'm not going anywhere today. So I'm not going to be carrying a bag with me. But I did tell you guys I was vlogging today. So I actually have something to tell you guys. I've got, I've got a bit of news to tell you. I don't know if you're ready for that news. But can I get a drum roll please? <laughs> Let me stop. My God baby was born! I don't even know if I told you guys, but... I am the godmother to my sister-in-law Milan's baby boy, yeah. Kaysen, baby Kaysen. His name is Kaysen, K-A-Y-S-O-N, okay? Kaysen, baby Kaysen. I'm going to be calling him because he's a baby. So yeah, so he was born this morning, March 1st, 11.43 a.m., 6 pounds, 14 ounces, 21 inches long but we couldn't be there because let me tell you what happened right so this morning milan sent a voice message to the family group chat um and she was basically saying that she was okay basically long story short she was feeling contractions so um she called Maslin because Maslin's the closest to her we're like 45 minutes from milan um, so she called my son to pick her up to take her to the hospital. Today was going to be her last doctor's appointment because her due date was March 3rd. So, um, my son went, picked her up, went to the hospital and we're waiting to see if like, is it really contractions? Like, is she dilated at all? Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's the things I'm waiting for. So next thing you know, my son texts in the group chat. What did she say? She said, I was freaking out. I was freaking out okay so boom 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 so last thing was gina said let us know what happens because gina's in the hospital right now so she's not there with them she's at the hospital for herself because she's sick so she texts in the group let us know what happens so my scene text that was so Gina said 11.23. At 11.36, my scene said, y'all, the baby is coming. She's 10 centimeters. I'm like this. I was cooking grilled cheese this morning. And I was like, oh my God, we gotta go. She's 10 centimeters. Oh my God, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm running around like a crazy person. And then Babe's like, they're not gonna let us in because they're only letting two people in and you, you can't even switch. It's a really, really, really small hospital and they're not letting any more than two people into the hospital. Not even like the waiting room or whatever. Not even like her room. Two people into the hospital period the whole time that milan is there and so maslin and milan's mom um eliante's mom um went in with her so basically we can't go see the baby until milan's out of the hospital with him but that's what happened so i was freaking out and i was like oh my god we gotta go so i'm texting like we gotta go we gotta go oh my god oh my god i'm like i'm not even making sense when i'm texting and then um and then i text at 11 40 oh my god kason is coming like i'm still freaking out and then Masin said, the baby's heart rate is slowing down. I'm like, why? What does that mean? Like, I'm literally freaking out. And then she's like, it's okay. She said, Milan just needs to push and don't scream. Let me tell you something. Milan did not, obviously, she didn't have time to take the epidural shot or whatever because she freaking just got into the hospital like probably 30 minutes before freaking giving birth. So, yeah. Um, so Masin goes, it's okay. She said, Milan just needs to push and don't scream. That was 11.43. 11.44, he's out. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my God. And then we got on FaceTime. Masin called us on FaceTime so we could all see baby Kaysen and Milan. Milan's doing good. Baby Kaysen is doing great. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's safe. Everybody's out. I can't wait to meet my little godson. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So 
so yeah that's the that's the good news for today and yeah yeah I'm so excited my first guy's baby <laughs> so excited Ooh. but yeah um yeah <laughs> and then so right now actually um so Eliante's brother and sister that just came from Haiti are here at the house because they're actually going to school by our house to learn English so four days a week they go to school and whatnot and they also have it online too so anyway so her brother and sister are here and I made grilled cheese for everybody this morning and then now today babe is going to make her it's called sauce fish they're doing it with salmon because I don't like fish with the bones that's what I call it you know the whole fish that's like still looking at you and stuff like so I don't like I don't like the fish that's like still looking at you so anyway oh babe was working out I guess she's done huh already okay the cleaning people are coming they're about to come clean the house and babe was actually working out this morning she said she was gonna start in March and she's starting in March so that's what's going on and um yeah I guess that's the, all the update for now the cleaning people are gonna come clean the house I have to clean up the little mess that I made on the floor right here. Bibs Valentine's Day balloons are still alive. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later, alligator. Later, alligator. Okay, guys, so I'm home, and I want to actually show you guys how I set up um, our hookah, and I'm going to show you how I mix a drink, too. But I want to show you how I set up our hookah just because there's a lot of things that we've learned throughout the not even the years throughout the times of us smoking hookah um anyway so i want to pass it on to you guys so this is our hookah that we have we got it from amazon so let me let me give you a little bit of tips and tricks to the hookah so let's bring it over here to the sink okay so first things first i am going to kind of take it apart So obviously it's clean. Um, after you wash your hookah, make sure you clean it. Uh, we went to somebody's house one time and the hookah was not hookahing. It was dirty. Okay guys, so the first thing that I do, well usually the first thing that I do is put the charcoal on, but since I'm gonna be doing this video, um, I'm not gonna do that yet cause it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to set it up. So, Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna add ice to here. Let me wash my hands really quick so I can just dig into the ice box in the freezer. Okay. to put so I think that's good now I'm gonna fill it with cold water because if you put hot water you're gonna melt it and then there's a minimum maximum line so I fill it like oops I fill it almost to the maximum line just about not quite there but I do feel it almost to the maximum line I don't know if you can see it or not anyway um so I can put this back on here I'm gonna put the charcoal on and then I will show you the next step. So if you are using, if you're using the, what do you call that? I think it's called like coconut charcoal or whatever. You need one of these, okay? Not like a regular flat top stove. You need one of these. 
This is the charcoal that I'm talking about. You can also get it on Amazon. I have two different kinds, but this one came from Amazon. So these are actually pretty big. The other ones that I had, well, that I have um, are smaller. So these, I only light up two of them. If I light up three of them, it's really gonna burn the, the flavor inside. So anyway, I put them on here and I'm gonna go plug it in. I'm also gonna give you a trick for the charcoal too, but we'll get there when we get there. So now, Okay, now we're gonna do the flavor. So, number one rule when doing the flavor, don't do it on top of the hookah. Because if it's already on here and you're putting, you're putting the flavor on top, it might get in the middle, that little hole right there, and then fall into the water, and then, yeah, you get the point. So, and you can mix flavors too, by the way. It's really um, good sometimes mixing them let's say you have a watermelon and then you have like a mango flavor and you have like a mint flavor you can mix them all together and make a really good tasting flavor okay so you don't really have to fill it up like all the way to the top i'm gonna show you about how much i fill it up and then i just kind of pat it down in there not like don't pat it down where it's like so packed in but just to kind of not have it sticking up i guess to have it more or less even you don't want it too tight in there you don't want it too loose so yep that's the flavor so now i'm gonna stick it on here there we go Um, so for the charcoals, by the way, um, it's better if you light them outside your house because it does have a very strong smell. It will smell up your house like, what is the smell? Charcoal, I guess. Charcoal with a hint of coconut, I would say. Yeah, um, but I don't, we don't mind it, so I'll do it inside. Sometimes if I feel like it's too much, I'll open the window that's right there by it. But, um, yeah, I usually light it outside but sometimes I light it inside, so. So anyway, I guess when the charcoal is more cooked and when I'm ready to tell you what I gotta tell you, then I'll come back. Okay guys, so the charcoal is where I want it. I kind of forgot about it. So anyway, here's the charcoal. I'm just gonna give it a little flip with the tongs. Now, what I was gonna tell you guys about the charcoal is um, I don't like to leave it on there too long. Um, I don't want the whole thing to already be, I call it cooked, <laughs> um, to be lit because, I don't know, I feel like it's already burning itself out. So I'll show you basically where I like to have them. Hopefully I don't forget because I'm doing something else. But yeah, so we'll come back to that again. Okay guys, so the charcoal is basically where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. I'm gonna take this one off. So I'm gonna put it there, take this one off, put it there, and then carry it up here. And just kind of, oops, <laughs> just kind of set it on the top. You don't have to really push it in too much. It'll kind of just fall in there. Yeah, you don't have to force it in. Um, and then we just cover it. Cover it. And then another thing I learned is to let the hookah sit for like a few minutes before blowing it because uh, what was it that I heard? If you're already trying to like light it yourself by inhaling it, um, I think you like burn the, the flavor faster. I don't know. So that's what I heard. So anyway, we're going to give it a few minutes to be lit and then we're going to smoke the hookah. Oh, let's go make a drink. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I make my, I call this strawberry lemon drops. Anyway, it's my version. Um, yeah, I don't use measurements anymore. I used, I tried to use measurements when I got the recipe from online, but switched it up a little bit. 
So anyway, one thing that I was doing too much of when I had the measurements, it was tasting too lemony. So I'm gonna try to do measurements for you guys, but more or less, I'll just tell you what I do. So I'm making my own version of a strawberry lemon drop. Let me move it down so you guys can see it. So with the lemon, like I said, I don't use measurements, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. So there's two sides to this thing. There's the big side and the little side. Usually I'll pour it in there and just eyeball it, but I'm gonna use the little side. Actually, I'm making two drinks, okay? So since I would make one, I would fill up one of the little ones for one drink, but I'm making two drinks, so I'm just gonna do a big one. One big one. And then everything else, whatever I do for the lemon, I double it for everything else. So we have simple syrup. So since I did one with lemon, I'm gonna do two with the simple syrup. I'm also gonna give it two shots of triple sec. I like to add a little bit more triple sec just to make it a little bit sweeter. Might give a little extra squeeze in there. And then the strawberry, I use this right here. Okay, it's just a cocktail mixer, but I don't use too much of it. I'll probably just put in a little, a little half shot, I call it. I don't know if that's what it's called. Okay, so for the liquor, um, it depends how strong you want it, obviously. I would probably myself for, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many shots to tell you. I'm going to do three. I'm going to do three shots per drink. So since I'm making two, oops, now I got alcohol over me. That's one, two, eh. Maybe four shots, maybe two per drink. It's kind of a lot. Let me throw in an extra shot. So here's the thing, with this drink, you don't taste the liquor, especially with this Seagram's vodka, you really don't taste it at all. Um, so let's go get ice in here. Yeah, you really, you don't taste the liquor. So even if you add more, you're just gonna get more messed up. <laughs> but you're not gonna taste it. So it's really up to you and how much you want to put in there. So now I'm just adding the ice. Um, I'm not gonna be that fancy today and put sugar on the rim. Just, I don't know, I've been a little lazy lately. I haven't been putting sugar on the rim. So I just cover it like this and shake it. Now let me get the glasses. Okay guys, I brought the glasses over here. Can you see? Can you see good? Okay. So you can see when I pour it. Babs ready for the hookah. So put this on the leaf. Alright. One drink. Two drinks. Um, by the way, if you want to put sugar on the rim, I found the best way to do that is by taking a like slice a lime, get a lime of slice, and then just put it around the rim and then dip it in sugar. So these are the drinks. Voila. I got flavor, hookah flavor on the bottom of this one. Here you go, babe. And that's that. Let's choose. Let's try our strawberry lemon drop. Isn't it so pretty, guys? My favorite so far. I've tried other drinks, but my favorite so far. <laughs> I'm gonna just say it twice. <laughs> yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. We're running out of things. I need to buy more. But um, also, I use Tito's um, vodka. So it's good. Yeah, I tried some other cranberry cranberry something i don't know i made two other drinks recently and this is still my favorite so so far that's still gonna be my go-to to make when people come over 
guys on our I almost said honeymoon <laughs> on our one year anniversary trip when we went to Miami uh, we went to a hookah lounge and this is the these are the tips that they were using so I stole one because we didn't use it they, they always give us two every time we go so I took this one because I wanted to try it at home because I liked it so much there and it actually does work better in our hookah I don't know why but with this little tip let me take it out you see the difference for whatever reason with the little tip you have to I don't know how do I say that you have to like inhale harder I guess this one is better <laughs> anyway guys, I'm done so that's about it today is my thanks babe <laughs> today is my brother's birthday in Australia I call I'm, I'm, I'm so funny I just call it Australia years because today is only March 2nd here but it's March 3rd in Australia which is my brother's birthday so I called him for his birthday today I'm like happy Australian birthday because technically it's not his birthday here. I'm like technically you were born on the 4th in Australia so I should call you on the 3rd here and it'll be the 4th there. But I'm not going to make things complicated. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, hi. See you later alligators. Battery because this one's dying. But anyway, so guys I wanted to show you something. We're about to leave. But we just got the best news ever. Sorry, I'm turning off all the lights because we had to leave. But let me show you some updates from the house. So first of all, I don't think I ever showed you guys this chandelier that we got. Isn't it so beautiful? I love that little freaking chandelier so much. It's obviously in the living room. So that and then this. We finally got our table. It finally came. We moved that plant to the corner. I love this freaking table. So let me tell you guys about this table um first of all we were looking 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 so much for a table and everybody has a rectangular table that's like the normal but when i saw this i fell in love with it because i'm like everybody can literally sit and look at each other like it's different if it's eight chairs two four six eight yeah if it's eight chairs and we can all see each other i thought it would be really freaking cool so i loved it um and then we didn't end up getting it and then we went back like a while later and then we found, well, I always was in love with it. And then Babe fell in love with it. Um, we didn't get the chairs that it comes with because they're like kind of shorter. So we got these chairs. So love that freaking table. I'm out of breath because we just got literally the best news. Well, not the best news ever, but the best news ever for right now. So um, remember how I told you guys, if you watched that one video where I was talking about um, Thank You Biden, that vlog, we filed for, the first person we filed for was her cousin Nadine. And then her sister, her other cousin, and her brother. Um, so her brother and sister and her other cousin came. Now, finally, through a lot of hell, because we um, put in the wrong number for, for the passport. That was a long story. But anyway, through a lot of hell calling them, the shit expired on the freaking website. It was like, it's going to expire on this day. Da, da, da. We didn't want to submit it and cause more problems, so we didn't submit it. It disappeared. It expired from the website. And then Babe just got an email talking about they updated it. So we're like, what the fuck? Da, da, da. So I go online onto the account and guess what? The shit is back. They fixed it. They put it back and it went through. So Nadine's going to be coming. The only problem is that um, there's no flights right now. Right now. And then when you do find a flight, it's like $2,400. So it's ridiculous. But we're going to figure it out. Nadine's coming, bitches. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh we've been going crazy over here so that's why i'm out of breath but literally now we have to go pick up um her brother and sister from school because they have been going to school to learn um english baby peter did not flush the toilet she's too excited right now she can't focus <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go pick them up but this is amazing news nadine is not answering her damn phone right now we're trying to call her and tell her the good news but yeah super freaking hype guys like <laughs> I can't wait until she answers. Oh my god, this is nuts. This is unbelievable. This was like... There's a flight for Wednesday the 8th. How much? 5.89. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. All the way Wednesday on March 8th. 5.5 five something. The On the 9th, there's a ticket for 3 something, I think. But I'm gonna check Miami. I'm gonna check West Palm Beach. I'm gonna check everywhere. We're gonna drive and pick her up wherever we gotta go. Oh, let me check Miami. Shit! Okay. 
Best news of the day. Oh my God. Best news of the day. God, I pray. Best so news much. of the you know day. That? Every time I pray. That I pray is about nuts. It. That is freaking nuts. Okay, March is just starting off so it's well. Starting great. My godson was born healthy. Yes. <laughs> Ned been coming. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my god okay let me go because i gotta drive so bye guys amazing ass oh, no, news we late